all right what's up youtube what's going on how's everybody doing this evening or this morning or whenever you're watching this um it is your girl that sugar and i am ultra homey today don't mind me i've had a really nice weekend with my son and um um yeah I, it was an interesting weekend say like that family a little bit of family you know goes a long way for me <laughs> so I am definitely tired and you know I figured you know y'all y'all didn't see me cute y'all know how I do so y'all can see me like this anyways I got some really exciting news for everybody um I thought what I could do once a week to, um, one, give you guys a chance to hang out with me a lot more. And, um, two, um, I'm writing a book. Some of you guys know, some of you guys don't. But I am writing my first novel. I have stepped out of the arena of short stories and have stepped into the big girl's world. And... <laughs> Um, I'm writing a novel and um, it's really fun and it's cool and everything but um, I don't want to share that with everybody it's not what I want to do um, you know there are some close people to me that have um, you know read some pieces and um, even if they read some in the early on stages it has taken a complete and total you know turn from what I started with um, and so now that I'm really in a zone with it and um, I've got it together, I know what I'm doing with it, um, I kind of want to keep it under, you know, keep it on under, um, you know, until I'm done and published and everything. Um, so I can't share that with you guys. I'm sorry. I can't share that with you. But what I can do is we are going to start a new little session that we're gonna do every week called the diary of a black lesbian thank you <laughs> I know that's isn't that so cute so anyways that is what we're gonna do and every week I'm gonna come to you guys with a new diary entry maybe twice a week maybe twice um, just depends on how caught up I get with my book and um, my schedule. That's the other thing. I think I might have a job. I don't want to jinx myself. But anyways, I just, I had an interview last week um, with a magazine, um, a local magazine company um, to start doing some pieces and stuff with Pride coming up and everything. So, we're going to see how that goes. Um, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. But anyways, back to more exciting stuff. Um, definitely more fun. Um, Diary of a Black Lesbian. So, um, we have a character. And um, I haven't even quite decided if I'm going to keep the same character every week or if every week is going to be a different type of lesbian. I might even, might even get a little stud on y'all a little bit. Y'all think y'all ready for that? Y'all ready for that to be a stud? <laughs> I could be <laughs> that is like yeah y'all know <laughs> that's not gonna happen but um, I'm definitely gonna try to entertain y'all and, and keep y'all coming back for more and keep you guys wanting to know what's going on and um, I think if I keep it just one character it'll be too much like my book and I'll get stuck in a rut trying to you know so I'm probably not gonna do it that way but just give you guys some scenes in the lesbian world and what we go through and you know dating and meeting each other and you know the whole the whole thing sex and everything baby i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna give it all to you i got you so i figured um how are we going on time we're actually kind of good so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little taste of the Diary of a Black Lesbian. You guys let me know what you think and how you feel about it. And if we're going to get a response, we'll keep it going. Y'all don't let me know what y'all thinking. I ain't doing it. 
I ain't gonna be wasting my time doing this mess for y'all and y'all ain't even giving me no input or anything. Y'all know how y'all can be. Y'all can be snotty sometimes. I don't know. Anyways, okay, so let's do this. So, our first entry. I'm so excited. I'm so smart. I'm y'all don't even I don't even know. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So, Diary of a Black Lesbian. May 2nd, 2010. What y'all know about that? Anyways. Okay. Okay. So, her name is Jada. Jada Young. And I was on break and didn't have another class for like an hour or so. Was slurping on this freshly made Jamba Juice and I saw her coming out the bank. She was stunning in these straight tailored black slacks and a button top. She looked like money. Oh my God. And I knew I hit the jackpot, baby. <laughs> you know, emotionally speaking and all. Yeah. Okay. So I stood there looking really retarded, right? Watching her walk up to her little gray Honda Accord and saw her getting in and well, I couldn't just let her walk by. That wasn't gonna happen. So I thought to myself, like, that could be your wife or something, your future wife or something. So take your scary ass over there and get her number. Stop being retarded. So I hurried before she got inside her car and said, Hey, <laughs> You know, to get her attention and all. Ah, goodness. But when she turned, oh my God, when she turned these beautiful hazel like eyes to face me, uh, I froze. Couldn't say a word. So she starts to smile <laughs> and says, Cat got your tongue. <laughs> so. It made me smile a little bit, thinking the most X-rated thoughts possible, <laughs> right? And finally, I was at a dumb, dumb world, and I could speak again. So I was like, "My name is Allie, <laughs> the most sweetest, sugary, extra sugary, sweet voice ever." And I reached out to shake her hand. As aggressive as her exterior was, her hand was soft as butter. Oh my god, I can feel it now. <sighs> Jada Young, she says, so freaking sexy. Oh my god, don't get me started. <laughs> so, um, I couldn't take it. I swear to god, I was gonna piss in my pants, like seriously. So, we stood outside her car for like a half hour just exchanging the cutest small talk ever, and finally, she's like, Well, Miss Allie. It was definitely a pleasure to meet you, and as much as I'm enjoying myself, I gotta get back to work. So I was like, okay, yeah, well, nice to meet you. Thinking, damn, she hasn't even asked for my numbers. Do I give her mine? Do I, what do I do? I can't let her get away, like, no. So, <laughs> finally, she turns to me after she gets her car door open with her little blackberry in hand, right? And was like, um, so if we exchange numbers, uh, we can finish this conversation later this evening. Ching ching! I did that! <laughs> you girl did that. Okay, so I'm like sitting around, can't stand still for shit, and I'm waiting for her car. Uh, my phone's ringing and it's her I got a go diary but I will be at you soon <sighs> okay that's it that is the end of our first edition of diary of a black lesbian y'all gonna have to let me know what you think and I will keep them coming okay I'm out of here it's your girl y'all be good <laughs>